So where do you think this idea comes from, that we spend 25% of our budget? Well, I'll tell you, it's pretty simple. As a recovering politician, <laughs> I can tell you that nothing gets a crowd clapping faster in a lot of places than saying, I'm going to Washington to get them to stop spending all that money over there. And sometimes they get a lot more specific. If you're looking for an applause line, it's about as guaranteed an applause line as you can get. But guess what? It does nothing to guarantee our security. It doesn't guarantee a stronger country. It doesn't guarantee a sounder economy or a more stable job market. It doesn't guarantee that the best interests of our nation are being served. It doesn't guarantee that another young American man or woman won't go and lose their life because we weren't willing to make the right investments here in the first place. We need to say no to the politics of the lowest common denominator and of simplistic slogans and start making real choices that protect the interests of our country. That's imperative. The State Department doesn't have our own Grover Norquist pushing a pledge to protect it. We don't have millions of AARP seniors who send in their dues and rally to protect America's investments overseas. The kids whose lives we're helping save from AIDS. The women we're helping to free from the horrors of sex trafficking. The students who, for the first time, can choose to walk into a school uh, instead of into a short life of terrorism. Their strongest lobbyists are the rare committed Americans who stand up for them and for the resources that we need to help them.